before in our vectors topic. So we've been looking at the vector product back in example three. Uh, I showed you how to calculate it. If you haven't seen example three, would you go find it and learn how to do it? So what we're going to do is uh, use one of the properties of the vector product, which is actually quite interesting. Uh, and the, ve the property that we're going to use is that the magnitude of the vector product is the same as the area of a parallelogram drawn out by the original two vectors. In other words, if I were to take uh, two vectors, and we'll call them uh, A and B, so for instance, let's get maybe, if I were to take two vectors, and we'll call them A and B, now, that would be, uh, if you imagine that on a horizontal plane, say on a desk uh, level, and if we were to find the vector product of that, it would generate a vector which is perpendicular to both A and B. So if, if A and B were going along a horizontal surface, then the vector product would be uh, sticking up in the air. So that would be our vector product, A cross B. And that vector has a magnitude. And it's a really interesting property that the magnitude of that resultant vector product is a number which is exactly the same as the number you get when you find the area of the parallelogram drawn out by vectors A and B as sides of that parallelogram. So we can uh, find the area of shapes using the vector product. So let's have a look at this example here. Uh, we've got three vertices of a parallelogram. So I'm going to bring that parallelogram over here. Uh, we don't know which uh, point is which, but normally we label vertices either clockwise or anti-clockwise. It doesn't matter. So I've labeled these sides A, B, and C. Now, in order for the vector product really to work, we, we imagine that the, the, the vectors are going away from a single point a bit like we do when we're trying to find the angle between two vectors. So in reality, we, we want to find uh, vectors BA and BC. BA and BC. So the first thing we would actually do here is we're going to find the, um, the vectors. BA is position vector A minus position vector B. That works out as 3, 2, negative 1, subtract 4, 0, 1, which gives me negative 1, 2, negative 2. My second uh, vector, BC, can be calculated in the same way. Vector C2, negative 2, 3, 3, position vector B, 4, 0, 1, I get negative 6, 3, 2. So the first thing is calculate the two vectors that we're going to use as our sides. Secondly, oops, we want to uh, calculate, let's get rid of this underneath. Secondly, we want to calculate the vector product. So we can see that. The vector product is going to be BA cross BC, vector product of those two. So how do we work that out? We're going to work out our 3 by 3 matrix, I, J, K. Uh, it, to be honest with this, it doesn't really matter which goes first, but I've gone with BA cross BC. So I've put uh, the vector uh, BA as my second row, vector BC as my third row. And then I'm going to calculate the magnitude of that by taking a few calculations. I said, if you haven't uh, yet had a look at the previous example, then do so. So uh, I'm taking 
the components I'm taking away row i so I've got 2 times 2 is 4 minus 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 so that becomes 4 plus 6 if I discount row j I've got negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 minus negative 6 times negative 2 is 12 and if I discount uh, column k I've got negative 1 times 3 is negative 3 minus negative 6 times 2 is negative 12 so it would be plus 12 and I end up with 10i plus 14j plus 9k so the vector product it works out as 10i plus 14j plus 4k, 9k rather, uh, or I could write it out as, uh, in the component form, 10, 14, 9. Okay. So it doesn't answer the question. Uh, the question says, find the area of a parallelogram. So uh, just to uh, repeat what I was saying uh, earlier, in that for any uh, parallelogram with sides, uh, vectors A and B, if we work out the vector product and then find its magnitude which is a scalar quantity that will give us the same value as the area of that parallelogram so we've got one extra um, step to do that is to say that the area of a parallelogram is equal to the magnitude of ba Across BC, which is what Pythagoras' theorem in three dimensions. And if we work all that out, we end up with the square root of 377, which we can approximate if we need to, to 19.4 square units. So it's a really interesting property, which allows us to practice using uh, the vector product and also works out the, the magnitude of that. If we work out the magnitude of our vector product, we get the area of the parallelogram. Okay, here we go.